In this video, we're going to be quickly UVing something in ZBrush. So the fastest way to UV something in ZBrush is just to go to Z plugin UV master. Uh, in this case, we do not want symmetry because this is an asymmetrical model and then turn that off and just click unwrap. However, this result will likely not be the best it could be. So we're going to use polygroups to unwrap this. And before we do that, we have to create the polygroups. So polygroups can be viewed here and you should turn on this because this color, even though it might seem random, is actually used for something. So if we use auto groups, you see the color changes. It just grouped this into its own thing, even though it currently was in its own thing. Uh, the reason why that is, is it's looking for multiple different objects to group them. Uh, so what you can do is you can group, you can group by a few different things. So for example, group by edges has like this effect. You can kind of increase the edge strength. Uh, this is not what we're going to be doing. Uh, you can group by normals. The normals should pretty much be the same, so it should just group it all. Uh, you can group front, so you can kind of see this result. And then you can group mask. So what we're going to be doing is grouping by mask. Uh, so first I'm going to turn off dynamic perspective. You can click on this or just hit P. And then B for brush, M for mask, L for lasso. And what we're going to be doing very simply is just lassoing part of this. So I'm trying to get like the shell to some degree, not a hundred percent accurate, but because it's like the shell is asymmetrical, but I'm just trying to get parts of the shell so that when I group masked, it has a little section there. I probably don't want something like that. So it's actually, let's actually do this a little bit more simplistically. We'll just do this. Basically what I'm trying to do is think of this object as a cylinder. So let's group that. And then you can just drag off to unselect it like that. Now let's just group the bottom here. This is a quick and dirty way too. This is not the best way to do this. Um, then we can do something like select into this a little bit, get back here, select into this a little bit, and then group that. All right, so you have, these are really similar in color, but this there's like a back group, a top, a bottom, and then like the side. And the reason for this is when you um, unwrap this, it'll try to flatten everything. So you want it to break apart in sections. Now this is a quick and dirty way to do this. This is not the best way to do this. <laughs> this is a thing, this is a, I wanna paint this now. I don't care what, like as long as, you know, like especially for hand painting, you can kind of get away with this. But for using materials, you usually want UV islands that are pretty precise for a specific reason. Uh, Alright, so we have our polygroups, so Z plugin unwrap. Okay, and then if you want to check it out, you can go to flatten, and then it'll show you the result. And then if you want to unflatten it, click on unflatten. So now this is UV'd. So now you can export this and import this into Substance Painter to then start painting on it because it has UVs now. So this was the quick and dirty way using polygroups. So we just selected parts of it and then went down to the polygroups tab, which is kind of near the bottom. It's under visibility. So masking, visibility, polygroups tab. And then you go to group masked and we use the mask BML for the lasso and then we used the plugin UV master and then we unwrapped by using polygroups with symmetry off because this is an asymmetrical model. Now, if your model is symmetrical, you can leave symmetry on, no problem. Uh, but this is just a quick and dirty way of doing this. <laughs> this is, we'll do another tutorial for like how to do this well in Blender, but this is just like a quick, especially for like sculpted props, this probably is okay in some instances. But yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this or found this useful. Also drop a comment, let me know what you think. And also feel free to suggest more types of videos, tutorials, if you have anything you want covered. And that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one.